happy Thursday, happy Thursday. Week's finally almost over. Sweet, sweet. Except I can't complain. I literally just got off the plane like not that long ago and in my house at seven and soaked my nails off super fast for live tonight. We've got our Tiffany back. I Give her some back. Hearts. Back so from exciting. Ireland. So a couple weeks ago, I actually broke this finger, um, but I was able to keep it intact um, doing a tea bag. But when I removed my nails, I couldn't keep it intact. So right now I am cutting up a little tea bag just so I can make sure my nail is just as long. Make sure they're nice and even, and I'm going to put that on. And I know you guys are super familiar with this process now. We've showed it a few times, but... I need to not have uneven nails because I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> so, super excited. All right, just kind of getting it going. Tonight we're gonna be showing off It's a Cakewalk and Pixie Dust. I already started doing this hand. I have not finished it yet, so when I finish the other hand with the buffing and the top coat, I'll do them together. Um, but I wanted to put it on just so you guys can kind of see what we're going to do. So Pixie Dust is really pretty. It's like a fine glitter with a little bit of color rainbow speckles in it. So I'm really excited. It makes a perfect accent to it's a cakewalk and it's a nice spring color. So finally exiting those dark winter colors and getting into the spring colors. So here we go. I think I finally got it about to where I need it to be. Let me trim it just a little bit more. You always have to be kind of precise with the tea bag. You always want to make it nice and even so then you don't have to file quite as much. Right, so, okay. so let's name out some ladies. We have Megan on, we have hello. Becky, Amy, Lauren with lots of star smiley faces. We have Summer Hi, ladies. Ann. Hi, Summer Ann. I love it. You ladies are awesome. Happy uh, Thursday, guys. And then what are we, are we giving away anything tonight? We're doing some giveaways. We're we are giveaways. giving away, it's a cakewalk and a pixie dust since we're using those colors tonight. See, there will be two winners winning one of each color. You want to come forward? Oh, sorry. So Becky just asked me, uh, did I get my snowstorm? I feel like a five-year-old kid. I did get my snowstorm yesterday. Not as much as some people would consider a lot of snow, but uh, a lot of things were closed down here in Gainesville yesterday. So uh, yes, I felt like a five-year-old kid. I had had a snow day, so it was kind of cool. This tea bag's not wanting to stay on. Hold on, I gotta paint it on real quick. So sometimes you just kind of have to work with it, work, get it to bend and work a little bit. So it takes a minute and it's really hard because you don't want the number one to stick to your finger, your other hand. All right. Sorry guys. I'm like so concentrated on this, trying to get it perfect, but it is my favorite little trick. Everyone's saying they love your mat. Where is it from? What kind of mat are you using tonight? Guys, I think this came from like a scrapbooking, like paper book from Walmart. We love our fun papers. They're always just generally fun colored paper. We love scavenging the craft section. Us girls yes. love some fun patterns. Have we done ombre before? We just had a question. Can you do ombre? Yes, absolutely, and we have done it before. We have some older vid videos showing off how to do it, um, but we should definitely do another video again. I think that would be really good. Uh, Dita says she got 10 inches of snow in Jersey. Woo! That's a lot. We didn't get 10 inches of snow, but I got some snow at least, so it's kind of exciting. So I think some tea bags actually work a little better than others. This one's not wanting to work with me too well tonight. Here we go. Got it. Perfect. All right, got to let it dry now. <laughs> that took forever. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm so sorry. So let's go ahead and get started with tonight's manicure. We're going to be doing It's a Cakewalk and Pixie Dust. I was going to do something a little more creative than just a simple manicure, but again, I just got off the plane into my house about an hour and a half ago, so 
kind of had to just run over here to do live and soak the nails off and didn't really have time to um, decide what kind of designs I was going to be doing. But as you can see, these are my natural nails, minus this one with the tip. And these are the colors that we're going to use. Again, it's a cakewalk, which is the purple, and pixie dust, which is the glittery silver color. So I've gone all the way through on this hand to the first step too. So I'm going to pick up at the buffing when it comes time. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing my dipping. So real quick before you start dipping, can you explain what the tea bag is for? We have a couple questions again what a tea bag is for. Um, so ladies, if you guys have a broken nail that you just want to do a quick fix on, the tea bag is the perfect little quick fix that you can do. You won't have to do a whole tip. You can do a tip if you want. Um, but you have to do a lot of extra buffing to thin it out and smooth it out. So for me personally, I think the tea bags hold up a little bit better. Um, and that's why I choose to do the tea bag. But it gives just as much strength as if it were my natural nail. Jennifer says awesome Easter color. They are actually. I didn't even idea. think about that. So, um, do you apply step one super thin, Molly wants to know. I actually apply all my layers thin. I don't like thick nails personally, so I always do them as thin as I can so they look natural. So, we have a couple people asking to describe it's a cakewalk. Is it a sheer color? What exactly does this color look like on? So, it's like a light lilac-y purple color, um, maybe a little bit lighter, and it is a tiny bit see-through, um, not too much, but if you did thicker layers or even a white underneath of it, you can get the same color without the see-through effect. But when you look at my nails, honestly, it doesn't, you can't really tell. So, uh, Megan just said, tell us about your trip just a little bit. Oh, I had so much fun. My, we drove around the whole entire country. We got to see a lot of beautiful, awesome sights. We met a lot of nice people. We stayed in a couple castles that my husband found for us and booked. It was super nice and romantic. Um, and we just explored, like the scenery was beautiful and because it rains there a lot, we got to see a lot of rainbows, which was my favorite. I thought it was a lot of fun. Lots of people are saying that they're in love with It's a Cakewalk. I know, I like this color a lot. It's such a fun, it's not super bright, it's not super, it's like the perfect in-between purplish color. It really is. Yeah, so I don't I'm, think I've ever worn it before. I don't think I actually have either now that I think about it. I always gravitate more towards the medium toned colors, like so, marooned and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is pretty. So let's clarify, because a bunch of people are saying that your one hand looks matte. Tiffany is not done buffing mm -hmm. and putting her top coat on the one hand. She's gonna do it all at once. So no, her fingers are not matte. She's just working on the technique right now. Yep. So again, I just got off the plane and home um, about an hour and a half ago. So I only had enough time to get here and soak it off and just kind of get one hand going, but which is good because I actually want to focus on the shine coat and now I have two opportunities to do that this evening. So everybody's asking again, could you, could you tell them what colors you're using and describe them one more time? So I am using It's a Cakewalk, which is the purple, it's a light lilac color, and Pixie Dust, which is going to be your silver glitter color with that's really fine glitter. Um, with a little bit of rainbow speckle to it. Almost kind of hollow like um, It doesn't look shiny here yet because I have not buffed it or put the shine coat on, but once I do, it's gonna pop. So I just did my first layer. I did it super slow, but what I like to do when I'm working with glitter is use two different brushes to remove the excess powder. That way my glitter is not being carried over into my other nails. So you're gonna go ahead and wipe it off and then I'm gonna go ahead and start my second layer. Again, doing nice, thin, even coats, which helps with your dipping process and getting um, your powder on your nail nice and smooth. So uh, we had a viewer ask, she gets to go to Ireland in 2020. Where would be your Fun. top two picks to go back to? Oh, that's a hard one because the country 
as a whole is just really beautiful. But I honestly liked um, the Donegal area, which is up in Northern Ireland. I thought that area was really pretty. Has the highest cliffs of Europe there, which is where we saw one of our first rainbows of the trip. And a lot of tourists don't go there because you have to take um, your own like vehicle. You can't do a bus. And so we rented a car and we drove ourselves around everywhere, which was really fun. But so you don't get a lot of tourists there. So it's really nice and peaceful and not a lot of crowds. And again, the highest cliffs of Europe. It's just beautiful. All right, so make sure you guys are sharing and inviting your friends tonight. We want to do those giveaways. Gray, say, when are we coming back to New York City? Gray, when you invite us. Everybody's in love with the mat. Everybody says it looks more 3D. They can't believe it's actually just paper. Oh, kind of crazy. It, it does look it good on very camera. Very 3D on camera. Um, Gray, say, when does our Peppy factory look like? <laughs> it's very small. Yes, we we maximize space and effort and very busy. It's a very busy place. Yes. Sorry, I have a dog and he's being a little rambunctious tonight. Domino. He's, Domino. He always wants to play. He likes doing lives with us. So someone just asked, uh, what pink are we using? It's actually a purple. I would describe it more of a purple. Yep. Maybe with a hint of pink, possibly, but more of a purple color. So we are using It's a Cake Block and Pixie Dust tonight. And yeah. they are beautiful. Check them out. Look at those hot colors. They're super pretty. So start hit and share, guys. We're, we're giving away. What are we giving away tonight? We're giving away one It's a Cake Block and one Pixie Dust. Make sure you're sharing and inviting your friends. <laughs> So, um, Megan's asking, when will Pixie Dust be back in stock? Um, should be back any day now. We're getting a lot of items finishing in production, so you guys will get a blast here probably in a couple days. So hang in there. <laughs> Always stay tuned to the group. If you guys aren't in the group, Peppy Gel Tips and Tricks, you should make sure you really join it, because that's where we post um, a lot of the information firsthand. Uh, so I'm on my third player. Kind of we hear, I have a pit bull, my big baby, Domino. Um, let's see, when is Angel Wings being released? We have a bunch of questions of when the last mystery bag colors are going to be released. The ones we just did? No, the ones before that. Oh, Angel Wings? And karma. Those were a big hit. Those were I big love hit. those. Yeah, they were beautiful. I think I'm not in the frame. Sorry, guys. I keep trying to get in the frame, and I managed to get my way out. So I am working slowly on my third layer. I'm going really slow. One, so you guys can see the process. And two, honestly, I'm just tired from traveling. <laughs> um, but I so, also want to make sure I do a good job too. Kelly just asked, do you do three dips and why three? We do three dips for two reasons. One, that's how you're gonna get the maximum strength to your nails, and two, that's how you're gonna get the best color results. Um, and also, actually three, three reasons, I lied. The third reason also being that's how you're gonna get them to stay on and last longer, so that would actually fall under strength. Um, but three dips is the best for the best outcome all around. So Carly, I give you some encouragement. She's saying that lots of people mix colors and she's afraid to mix them together because she's afraid what it's gonna turn out looking like. Oh no, if you don't like it, just add more of something else and keep mixing. I, I always say go online and look up the color chart of what different colors look like when you mix them together. Greens with reds, reds with blues. You'll get kind of like the idea of the color it's going to create and then you can play with it from there. That's a good idea. I never thought to do it that way. So Margaret says, I love the tips and tricks page. I end up staying up super late just to look at everybody's pictures. So talk about the tips and tricks page for everybody. 
So guys, if you are in our group, you're really missing out. We have a group on Facebook. It's called Peppy Gel Tips and Tricks. And um, we got about almost 10,000 people in there, I think now. It's grown quite a bit. And in there, you'll find uh, just a lot of color ideas. So for like mixing or just manicure combination ideas or anything really peppy related that you can think of, answers to any questions, you will find it right in that group. It's awesome. Everybody's super friendly, super helpful. It's a real positive, fun community to be a part of. So we have someone asking, what does everybody think of Manowar? I actually have it on right now. So in a minute, I'll show you a couple different blues that I've got. I actually have three colors on my fingernails tonight, which is very fun. All right, so I gotta come back and fix up my tip over here. So can you do more than three dips if you wanted to? You can, so just know that it's gonna make the nails thicker. So if you're gonna do more, I recommend doing like a thinner base with your number one. So Oops. again, everybody that is just um, joining, we're using It's a Cake Walk and Pixie Dust tonight. So two beautiful colors Stephanie's got going on. They're pretty. So we've already done our three dips on this hand. We got to go back through and obviously fix this finger because we have the tea bag on there. So it'll come out looking real nice and smooth when we're done. And we'll do all our file and buffing here in a minute after the number two sets. And then we'll get them shaped up looking really nice and pretty. So here's a up close. It's kind of hard to see of what pixie dust looks like. You can see the little rainbow um, speckles in there. And then here's a close-up of It's a Cakewalk. I'll show you with my finger. So it looks really good. They are nice Easter colors. They're really pretty. So Kim asked, is this our own company? So let's talk about us for a second. Let's tell people a little bit more about us and Peppy Gel. It is our own company. We are small, we're owned by us and our husbands that help, and we just, we're, yeah. <laughs> Two girls with a crazy dream. Yep. And let me tell you ladies that us girls have a huge passion for you. So when you see somebody responding on Facebook or email, it's actually us two girls that respond to all of your comments, all of your emails. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work goes in and a lot of passion goes into helping you guys. Yeah, we're so. not a big corporation. It's us. You're always talking to the owners every time. So it's really cool. We're, we're based in Northern Virginia. So we're Virginia girls. Um, but our families live in different states, which is kind of sad, but cool to get to visit. Yep, we always go and visit. So, how did we start our own company? Like, why did we decide to go do this together? So, it was basically a scenario just like you ladies. We wanted to do, um have a product actually sorry that was easy for ourselves to do right at home and we just didn't really find anything that worked for us and that's kind of how peppy gel was created it was to um, help ladies do the same thing that we're doing like just to give you guys the opportunity to do your nails at home without paying the expensive salon fees so everybody's asking, oh my gosh, what do the mystery bag colors look like? We worked very, very hard, guys. And between yesterday and this morning, all mystery bags are on their way. So you're going to have to check that Peppy Gel Tips and Tricks page. That was fast. That was fast. We got, our, we got to get our shipping out super speedy. Um, but maybe in our next live, one of us girls will show off the mystery bag color so you yeah. guys can see it. We gotta wait, make sure everybody gets them first. But I would, I wanna wear one, so I'd definitely show it off. Alright, so you guys can see I'm already buffing this out, so it's already starting to get nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna trim it because it's a little bit longer than I want it to be and shape it, and it's gonna look really nice. So Donna says her, she has put her Peppy Gel Tips and Tricks page on snooze because she doesn't want to see the mystery bag colors till she actually gets them. That's a good idea. 
I know, it's crazy. It's so hard, like, anticipation to wait to see what something's going to look like. So, again, hit share, ladies. We're giving away two colors tonight. Give us some comments. Show us some love. We're giving away It's a Cake Walk, which is like, like a pinkish purple color, if I really had to describe it, because on the camera it looks kind of pink, but it... It's definitely got a light purple to a it. Lilac color. It yeah. is a little bit translucent though. It's not a complete solid color. Yeah. But it is a very hot color. And not overly translucent either. It's like just the right amount. Almost kind of like first kiss. Maybe a little bit darker. So it's really pretty. So a bunch of people are asking, what is a mystery bag? Ooh. So mystery bags are something that we only do, I'm sorry for the dreadful bu buffing noise, um, that we only do once in a while. We've done actually a couple recently just because everybody seems to like them so much, but we do them once in a while and they contain two colors that have never been released and it's always a limited amount. It's not a full stock that we'll carry right off the bat and basically we'll put the link up and you guys... We'll have the opportunity to choose to participate and buy one if you want to have it. And we don't tell you what the colors are. They remain top secret until you guys get them. So Rachel says she's so jealous. It's always so perfect when we do our nails. Aww. I give you guys encouragement. It takes a little bit of practice. Your first time is not going to be perfect, nor maybe your second but you'll still do amazing. So we challenge you to give it a go. Hang in there. I promise you, you will absolutely fall in love with Peppy Joe. Yeah, you guys, I used to never paint my nails before Peppy, ever. Like it was, I didn't even know how to paint my nails. And you know, it took me a couple practices myself, but I hung in there and I got it. And now it looks like I go to the salon and get them done. They're perfect. So we manufacture, everything's manufactured in the great USA. We are a US based company. Puppy Gel is uh, Tiffany and I's very own creation. It's a company that we're very passionate about. Um, we both went to get our nails done quite a bit and we wanted to do something that everybody could share passion for. You could make some amazing friends. You could just share your personality through fingernails, which is really amazing. All right, so I'm just trimming up my nail, which is hard for me to do in frame because I need it to be able to see real close, but we just trimmed it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and file it up and it's not you're not even gonna be able to tell which one was the tea bag. It's awesome. Yep, yeah, guys, again, this is our a bunch of questions. This is our very own brand our very own product, our very own everything. We are seven free, cruelty free, vegan. We're a unique three-step process. No UV lights and we last three weeks. So it's pretty amazing. So up to three weeks, generally more, just depends on when you want to change the color. But again, Tiffany and I uh, own Peppy Gel. Uh, Peppy means everlasting. So we wanted to create a name that matched our product, but uh, it is us, we're a small business, and a lot of love and soul goes into this company for you guys. Sorry guys, I'm putting a lot of effort on this teabag nail here. Just want to make sure it's right. There we go. Alright, so after I buff, I do go around, I already pre-shaped my nails before I started the video. But I'll just go around and clean up the edges real quick. And I just use this little file here. It's a 180 grit. And just clean it all up. And then when you're done, just go ahead and dust off the excess powder. You can see how the tea bag nail start, starts looking normal here. It's looking we awesome. We have some newbies on. And I think we should share real quick our discount. So we have 10% off all starter kits. So thank you, 10, for 10% off all starter kits. Thank you, 10. So anybody new watching, all of our starter kits are 10% off. And I'm sorry, it's upside down. My bad. I'm looking at it my direction. 
So 10% off all starter kits, so thank you, 10. And let me show you my colors real quick. Um, I did three colors the other day. Um, this color is Man of War. This color is Pontoon Party. And this color is Stone Cold with Pixie Dust dropped on. So that's kind of some of the different blues that we have in our fun array of colors. And they're nice and springy looking. They look really good. I know, I love it. I think this is one of, I had to do it again. I really think I liked mixing three colors. It was, it was a fun challenge to come up with three that would look really nice together and not be way different than one another. So everybody's asking, how do you remove Peppy Gel? Maybe we could talk about our soaking bowls. Yeah, so you, do you want to show one real quick? Let me grab one of our Peppy soaking bowls. They're back in stock. Which a lot of you ladies have been asking about. So we're really excited. So I just, real quick before we go into the soaking bowls, I just applied my last step of number two. We're gonna go ahead and let it dry for about two minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on the finished gel, the shiny coat on this hand, and then it'll be a complete manicure. So somebody just asked, do we sell our Peppy Gel brushes just by themselves? We do, yeah. So they're right on the website. Any of the accessories or most of the accessories that you see us use, so the peppy brush, um, mixing jars. buffers, mixing jars, and even this um, soaker bowl, you will find it under the accessory section on our so website. So let's describe this thing real quick. You've got this soaker bowl. It's literally a little bowl. You fill it halfway with water, and you, I microwave it for about two minutes at halfway. And then you take and put it in upside down. You take this thing, other bowl, and you clip it in place, and you pour your acetone into it, and it actually warms your acetone and keeps it a really nice temperature. And then Tiffany will stick her hand in there to show you how it works. Yep, you you literally right stick your hand in, wait six, eight minutes, 10 minutes, and just be able to take off your puppy gel. So we got these back in stock. I can say it's my personal favorite way to move, remove puppy gel. So they're on our website for sale, ladies. All right, so we're almost done waiting here. We're gonna go ahead and do the finish gel, which I love going over this part, um, especially because I know sometimes a lot of people have some struggles with it and it's mostly because of timing and it's so important to make sure you guys follow it. So. Um, another minute or so and I'm going to go over exactly why it's important. So I'm just reading you guys is, um, how do you clean our brush? So really you can just use soap and water like you would any makeup brush and just clean it all out. So you just do that, I don't know, every couple of times, every so often. So let's see here. So... Again, what is a soaker bowl? Some people just logged on a little late, but they heard the comments about a soaker bowl. Oh, so the soaker bowl, ladies, it's just what we use to remove Peppy Gel. It contains a compartment for hot water and for the acetone um, that kind of go in together. It's a two-piece container, so the water will go in up here or down here in the white, and then up up top will be the acetone and you just kind of rest your hand and soak it for about eight to ten minutes and then your peppy gel will be removed and it's the easiest fastest way to remove your peppy gel so we have quite a few people actually asking if we would show one of us removing our nails while the other does their nails one night yeah we'll have to do that that could be fun all right so it's been about two minutes i have just now wiped my fingers with a paper towel, which is important because you want to move any leftover residue that your number two could leave on the nail. Then you're going to go into your step three. Make it situated here real quick so I can show you guys. So make sure you guys watch these steps. It's very important. So you're going to go into step three and you're going to do real quick, just two to three strokes and wipe the brush on the paper towel. And we do this again to eliminate any of that residue from your number two bottle going back into your shiny bottle. So it's super, super important that you eliminate that at all cost. 
and so. then just keep wiping. And then immediately we're gonna go back in and do the second coat. So it's really best done one hand at a time and two coats back to back. So we had a question, how does the water heat up the acetone? So you gotta warm the water up in the microwave and then that warm water itself will warm up the acetone in the bowl. So there's two separate bowls, ladies. There's a plastic bowl below the finger bowl. So you put the water in the bottom bowl and the acetone in the finger bowl and you clip them together and then the water actually warms the acetone that it's sitting on top of. It's, it's really cool, really easy. It clamps together so there's really no mess. It's awesome. Oops, too much. So how much do you have to buff between number twos? So it's really very minimal. If you're, as long as you're doing your powder to where it goes on nice and smooth, you're buffing super minimal. It took me longer on that tea bag fingernail because the tea bag was not cooperating with me tonight. Um, but it's honestly super, super, super minimal because you're doing it really just to ensure that it's smooth. But if you have ridges from when you dip, then it's going to take you a little bit longer because of course you're going to want to smooth those ridges out. But the key into getting um, a smooth layer of powder on your nails is just simply stirring up the powder so it's nice and loose. And make sure when you apply your base, it's nice and thin. If you do it overly thick, that's where you're going to get your ripples from. Everybody loving your colors tonight. I know, they're so awesome. They're very pretty. Yep, so they're here's, I'll show you the difference of the hands too. You can see the top hand here that has the matte finish because I haven't put in the top coat on it yet. And then you can see the bottom hand here that it's just super glossy and high shine right now. So it looks really good. It came out nice. Good spring colors. You can see the difference in the um, glitter here too. How it's shiny and this one's kind of matte. <laughs> looks good. Do you have to cut your cuticles before pushing them back? What do you recommend to do to clean up your cuticles? I recommend ladies to never, ever, ever cut your cuticles. I only recommend to push them back. And all we use is um, the little cuticle pusher. And then every now and then, if the cuticles are too bad and overgrown, we will use um, Blue Cross cuticle remover, which you can get on Amazon for a couple bucks, and it works like magic. I don't use. I used to use it a lot because my cuticles were out of control. Um, but now that they're under control, I simply all I do is push them back. I don't use anything else, and I never cut them. So I think it came out really nice. It's shiny and pretty. I think it's hot. I Looks good. It. Yeah. So what do you guys like better, the shiny hand or the matte hand? Shiny or matte, which one gets the vote tonight? I think the matte's kind of fun, actually. The matte is fun. It's different. I would probably still make pixie dust shiny, though, just so it's shiny it glitter. It. Yeah, so it pops. Are we doing giveaways? Are we actually going to give anything away tonight? Yep, let's go ahead and do it. Um, right, my mani's done. I'm going to have to pick it random from the computer. I don't have another phone available because we have Instagram running tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. We got both our phones tied up, ladies. Sorry. Alright, so... so I'm, Maggie's going to pick just two random names. I'm just names. scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. We're doing it a little different. Scrolling and scrolling and we're going to go with Tammy Lawrence Oten tonight. So Tammy Lawrence Oten. I'm going to pin and like your comments. And let's pick a second person. Are we ready? Are we ready? And we have a Jennifer Brianne Pito Frisch. I'm sorry, I definitely did not pronounce that correctly. But we have two awesome winners tonight. We are super excited. So one congratulations, of, one ladies. of you gets you guys are going to be surprised on who gets which color. We're going to surprise you. So you need to email orders, puppygel at gmail.com, and Tiffany will post it later. Yep, so just so you guys know, the nails are nice and dry and hard. I can do whatever I want. Good to go. It's awesome. All right. All well, right, ladies. Well, have, have a nice night. 
Are they dry? Yep, they're dry. Oh, perfect. They're good to go. Have a good night, guys. Have a safe and happy weekend. And we cannot wait to see you till Tuesday. And we promise you're going to want to stay tuned for some stuff we've got coming. Have a great night, ladies. Good Bye. night.